Ayan, good morning everyone! Kumusta po? Uh, pasensya na eh, if hindi ako nakapag-live yesterday. Wasn't feeling well, but now everything is okay. So, tuloy po tayo sa daily grind. And so today, we're gonna be talking about um, yesterday, si stock market uh, has been on a downtrend kasi uh, PSEI has been on a downtrend for quite a while. Let me just make sure everything is showing up. Ayan, hindi <laughs> lumalabas yan kanina eh. Alright, I have to show this. Ito po nga pala yung settings ko over the seminar last weekend. Tinatanggal ko kasi yung mga ads ko last, oh, uh, during the seminars. But now, hindi naman seminar ngayon. May utang ako sa mga sponsors natin. So, kailangan magtrabaho. <laughs> Lagi, lalabas ko yung mga logo. Ayan, so, um, PSEI has been on, the, on a downtrend since uh, reaching its peak last around February uh, February 6 so for uh, for almost a month already nag downtrend si PSEI so may bounce ngayon kahapon may bounce kahapon so we'll talk about that bounce yesterday and the concerns regarding PSEI kasi may nag message sa akin eh kasi meron daw isang um, blogger din sa market uh, na sinasabi na lumabas daw sa mga blue chips especially kasi maglalabasan yung mga tao uh, we'll talk about that um, pag-usapan natin yan uh, so we're gonna be starting at around 8.40 the discussion is gonna start around that time so if you're just watching the replay of the video please move forward to around 25 minutes of video because the, the discussion will start there first up I'm gonna be reading the greetings of the people here uh, before we go to that kindly po please share the video share po sa mga facebook walls ninyo um yun po request ko so that matulungan niyo po ako sa mission natin to um to invite more filipinos to start in the stock market para ma-curious naman sila ano yung ginagawa ng kaibigan ko bakit bakit siya nakapag stock market di ba so yun and also um, please share this to your trading groups para at least mga newbies doon malaman nila that there's a program like this there's this channel there's the channel like Financial Freedom 101 uh, para na matutulungan yung uh, start nila sa stock market 
Right? So, let's begin. Joy P, good morning. Hops, good morning, sir. Inputs po sa galaw ng PSEI. Pwede na po ba mag-add sa UITF regarding sa disclosure ng IRC, increase in capital stock? Ano po kaya impact sa price nito? Um, usually, may hirapan yan, especially right now that IRC is not showing us any good trend talaga. So, IRC has been... IRC, IRC has been showing us a sideways trend tapos yeah, let me show up my la, let me show my show you my chart right, so IRC um somehow sideways trend pa naman siya plus uh this uh na la, lumabas na news niya right so the major support is here na breach niya yung major na support so that's a bad sign plus dadagdagan pa ng baka nga yung ano eh baka nga yung sign uh, yung yung disclosure nila na cost nito eh but so yeah i think IRC is gonna move down because of this so konti ingat lang sa mga nagde-trade kay IRC uh, if your cut loss is hit make sure you get out if ever uh, ma-hit yung cut loss niyo okay so just get out if ever might yung cut loss niyo but if you're into investing in IRC i think IRC has been uh, has been solid in their investments lately so most probably is gonna be very good especially tuloy na naman yung uh, tuloy naman yung uh, subway project ng Makati kasi nga lang may kabagalan yung uh, yung mga issues dahil sa mga issues ngayon. Keting, good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika. Good morning then. So yeah, um sp- uh, speaking of IRC, uh, if you're looking for faster gains, wag lang muna kay IRC. Let's see if it stabilizes in the future with the disclosure that it has. So konti ingat. Joy P, MBT, ISM, and MPI po. Let's check it out. Metrobank, ISM, and MPI. All right, these down. And so, yan. Joel Igaras, good morning. Sir Lloyd and Laika. Yan, good morning to my, lana, nakalimutan ko. Good morning to my daughter, Laika, then. Yan, so. Jerson Ursal, have a nice day, Sir Lloyd. PLC po. Thanks. Yan, thank you po. PLC, let's check. I'll write down PLC. Yan, and then, si Monet naman is here. Good morning, uh, Lloyd and Laika and everyone. Insights po on B- BDO, BPI, and LTG. All right, all right, these down. Somehow these stocks are showing us na um, malapit na naman siya magmura ang presyo. BDO had a bounce yesterday, so let's see uh, what we can expect. Dina Lucero, may buntag Sir Lloyd in Laika. Morning then, 3D print with morning Sir Lloyd ZHI po please and si ZHI. No, we we recommended ZHI on its MA20 bounce the past few days, di ba? Last week, na recommend ko si ZS, ZHI sa MA20. Uh, MA20 bounce niya. Let's, let's, let me just uh, load my chart layout. And then let's open ZHI. And so, so ZHI, we talked about it here sa MA20. And so, very good job sa mga pumasok kay ZHI. Yeah, uh, that's all we can do. We always bet on the MA20, especially that it's showing us that there's momentum in it, diba? So, we bet on it at MA20. That's why I recommended it here. Uh, sabi ko sa inyo, mag-intay lang. Huwag kayong mag-ahabol dito at around this level. But here it is, MA20. When it bounced at MA20, we try, we tested it, diba? And then, there it is. Umakit na si ZHI. So, congratulations sa mga pumasok. Kay ZHI, nag-breakout siya yesterday. I don't want to recommend it yes to- today. I don't like these kinds of breakouts. I usually really want for it to do a pullback before I want to get in. Especially sa um, volume ng PSEI today, uh, lately. So, best to wait for a pullback before getting in. I don't usually like, I don't really recommend playing breakouts. But if you're an aggressive player, you can. If ever uh, that breakout fails, just move, uh, just, uh, what do you call this? Ma- umatras lang kayo. Just cut your losses, di ba? Betchay Ilakas, good, gusto ko po magsimula dito sa stock market. Uy, good morning, Betchay. Uh, newbie siya. Um, pwede po ba mag-advice kung ano una kong gagawin at magkano ang dapat kong pang-open ng account? Right, so when you, uh, uh, unayin natin si Betchay because uh, newbie siya. So, um, yun yung unang goal talaga ng Financial Freedom 101, di ba? So, for Betchay, yan, good morning. Welcome to the Daily Grind. Um, if you want to start to the stock in the stock market, um, this is uh, this goes to all the 
uh, newbies out there. So, makakasimula pa lang. So, na is, um, pwede po ba pa-advise kung ano una kong gagawin? Number one, ang gagawin mo is go to a broker. Right? Um, go to a brokerage. And then, um, ito yung mga brokerage. These are the people who will help you buy stock uh, stocks. Okay? Sila yung parang middleman para makabili ka ng stocks na isang company. So, you have to enroll with a broker. Marami po dyan. Alright, I uh, I will recommend to Trade Asia for you. Um, 25K po yung opening nila. That's okay. That's a, that's uh, not a bad start uh, sa PS, uh, sa Philippine Stock Exchange. Alright, 25K is not a bad start. Uh, I want you to start as an investor. Uh, sa 25K mo, you can start with two to three companies to invest in. At least diversified ka kaagad. Um, and then, Start as an investor lang if you really want to start and then search for, uh, I have a video here that's uh, that's titled um, uh, Investing Strategies, right? Uh, search for that. Investing Strategies uh, and Lloyd Bazaar, right? It's part of the daily grind and then yan sa daily grind. So ch- search for it. I, want, I will recommend doing cost averaging for you. Um, if I can pull that video up. This is uh this will be a great help for you. Uh, let me see youtube.com and so go to search bar and then investing strategies G- G's, uh Lloyd Bazaar kasi naka name niyan sa akin. Uh picking the right stocks daily. Mm. Hindi lumalabas eh. <laughs> right. So let me let me check kung ano talaga yung title niya. So it should be here. Let me go to my creator studio. Let me search for it really quick. Pasensya na guys. Unahin natin yung newbie. Um, 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 video manager, investing. Two seconds. One moment, please. Alright. Investing. How to use Investagrams. Alright, so, hinahanap ko pa. Alright, so, para wag naman masayang yung ano natin. Uh, sayang yung uh, oras natin. Okay, somehow I can find it. I cannot find it. So, I'll check that out. So, Betchay, please send me a message na lang sa Facebook page ko, Financial Freedom 101. Send me a message there para mahanap ko po yung video para sa iyo. It will help you. Uh, it's called cost averaging para maganda yan for investing. Alright, Sir Lloyd, ipit ako ng 18K sa X. Okay pa rin mga investor lang ako sa X or worthy ba mag-cut loss sa, na lang ako da, uh, and forget the 18K. Ido, Almo, um, X, yeah. Uh, dapat nagka-cut loss kay sa X. It's not an investing stock so investing should not have been your option there. I will recommend um, somehow X has been showing us good signs naman. It's showing us a good bottom right here. So it's not yeah, it's not uh, let me sh- let me show this to you. It's not a wise time to sell X. <laughs> yeah, kasi nasa bottom area tayo ng X eh. So not the best time to sell. Yun yung problema kasi pag naiipit tayo. Kung kailan tayo nagbebenta, yun pa yung doon pa kung kailan dapat buying na, eh, di ba? This is buying area right here. It's not a wise ah, uh, it's not a wise uh, it's not a wise place to cut your losses, di ba? So, let's see if ever si X bumaba pa. Ang hirap eh pag naipit ka na sa ganito eh kasi it's we're really at the buy area right here. This is buy areas na kasi, eh, right? Um this area right here. This is our buy area, right? So, price action wise, sinasabi ng chart na dito na area na ito napakamura na ni X. ba? So, I can't recommend selling it right now. Um, I have a video about how to 
paano po makapag-recover sa mga stocks na ipit na kayo. Um, if ever this goes further down, I will, yeah, you can sell, I think, half of it. But, uh, ang hirap eh. Ang hirap na pag ganitong situation. Uh, iwasan nyo po ang ganito mga situation. Um, kung ipit kayo sa isang stock, um, especially pag ganito, X is not a very good stock as of the moment. Alaki na negative niya. If ever it goes further down niya, yeah, just cut your losses. Mas, mas mabuti pa if ilagay mo yung pera mo sa, ano, sa, sa stock na makakabawi ka kaagad. I have a video about how to average down Without adding funds, you can search for it. Right, that will help you. Uh, sa mga stocks na ipit kayo, so ingat na lang jan. Alright, Analisa Dalapo. Good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Good morning, then Jove Jovenly Hilar Hilar Hilary Mel Plenos. Right, medyo mahirap yung name mo, ah. but very unique name. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. ECP, please. Thanks, ECP. I recommended ECP yesterday, uh, and then yeah, nag bounce siya. Today, uh, yesterday nga, nag-bounce siya. So, good job sa mga pumasok kay ECP. I did recommend that yesterday. Nag-bounce yung man trigger pa nga sa taas. So, this is already, uh, I don't think this is a missed opportunity already. Uh, may, pwede, pa rin, pwede pa rin siyang pasukin. But yesterday was the best price to get in ECP. And so, medyo mataas na yung risk niya. So, yeah, this is a missed opportunity already. Try to bargain if you still want to go after ECP. Bert Lobertas, good morning, sir. Do you think CPG is a good investment for long term? I don't recommend CPG for long term. But right now, um, yeah, it's doing well already. And the projects of CPG is uh, looking good. Right? So, mid Mid to long term, yeah, that will be okay. So CPG right now broke MA20, so most probably tapos na yung uh, tapos na yung uptrend niya, nag uptrend just for quite a while. Um, I think magsa sideways mo na siya. So let's see what will happen to CPG in the future. And yung side, uh, at yan yung nag break siya ng MA20, so it showed us a lower high. So medyo red flag yon. So. CPG, wag muna for long term. Alright, LV Aquino, good morning, Sir Lloyd. God bless you always. Thank you so much. Mike16, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Ma'am, Apple, and like katuloy tuloy na po ba reversal ni Bicor? Um, let's check out Bicor. If tuloy tuloy na ba? I'll write this down. Bicor. Alright, so Gilbert Veles, good morning, Sir. IRC, ISM, and Nickel. Si Nickel. Parang tapos na yung up, um, ano ni Nickel eh. Uptrend ni Nickel. But kamusta natin si Nickel? Uh, may buntag, Sir Lloyd. Sharing. Thank you, Daran. Uh, Mark Lester. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Like, pakibati na my wife ko. Si Ems Gardosen sa lahat ng The Billionaires Club members. Thank you so much. Hello, Ems. And hi, Mark Lester Gardose. Kellen Stagger, maajung buntag, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Greet ko lang. Uh, good morning, wife. Kiko na si Rina Baluka. I love you. Uy, sweet. Uh, at, uh, at kay Cole Elik ng Impake Og... TMX Washer. Thank you, Sir Lloyd. Meg. Right, I'll write down Meg. Kamusta natin si Meg. Um, si Meg nagbubul, um, gumagawa ng support resistance pero doon sa taas. Uh, usually, those, those are bull traps. I don't want to enter those uh, kinds of situation. Inaintay ko lang mag-breakout si Meg. Uh, Slav, uh, Slav Asian Studios by Sashimi Sasha. Morning, Sir Lloyd. Tan. ATN siguro to. Bakit tan? Alright, so ATN. Definitely for long term si ATN. So, keep holding ATN and keep buying more. Ayan, si ATN nga pala. Isabel um, Modelia Tura Art. Right. Good morning. I'm glad you're feeling better. Thank you so much. Sir, paano mag-deposit sa eToro? Yeah, um, mag paano mag-deposit sa eToro? You can use a credit card. Pinakamadali po ang credit card. Safe naman si eToro. Right? Uh, masasara sila if magkakaroon sila ng issue sa credit card. So, tagal na ni eToro sa market. So, yeah. Uh, use a credit card. Um, if you don't have credit card, debit card, Debit card is okay as long as your debit card is um, allowed for international transactions. Um, pwede rin PayPal. Isa yun sa pinakamabilis. Um, lagyan nyo lang ng pera si PayPal nyo using your debit card or, or credit card. And then, yun yung gamitin nyo pang fund kay eToro. So, you can use that. Sir, good day. Sir, they said that ISM is only a backdoor for Udena and it will never, uh, never third telco. Is that true um, for NerdPec? Backdoor for Yudena. Never be third telco. Sino ba ang third telco? Diba si Yudena naman? So, basically, Yudena is the third telco. 
I'm not really sure uh, what their uh, nerd pack. Not really sure what their uh, arguments are. Pero Udena is the majority holder of Tertelco, which is the ano the consortium for Miss Latel. And the Miss Latel franchise, tililipat nila kay CLC kasi si CLC, um, sila yung may business clause na into Telco, di ba? But Udena kasi, Udena is a holdings company. Right? It's not a telephone company. Baka yun yung ini- sinasabi nila. No, Udena is not a telephone company. It's a holdings company as of the moment. Holdings company, nag invest lang yan. So, it's the major major investor sa third telco. So, meaning sila yung makikinabang ng malaki kasi pinakamalaking investment sa kanila sa consortium si Udena. So, just to clear that out. No, it's not gonna be the third telco holder. But it's the major, uh, major what they call this, major investors sa telco consortium. So, sila yung pinakamakikinabang. So, yun. <laughs> so, just to clear that out. Um, Burnstone, bakit pala down pa rin si ISM? Don't worry about that. Da- marami namang down eh. Kahit sila BDO, down. Right? So, wala pang wala pang mga investors so, so Oscar at right. Burnstorm TV Gaming good morning sir pa check po ng SMC Sir Lloyd ano po masasabi niyo sa VLL um VLL is good it's a good company so but we'll check out the technical sa VLL kung pwede na naman bang bilhin I haven't been recommending VLL lately kasi masyado mataas na. Hinuli natin yan doon sa baba. So, dapat hinuhuli yan sa baba, hindi sa taas. Right? Sherry Ann Viana. Good morning. Pwede po pasilip si Bloom. Right? Si Bloom is looking good. Uh, kamusta natin si Bloom? Right? LV Aquino. Bloom, MBT, BPI, MRC, BDO, and Ali. Medyo marami to ha. So... Let's try to uh, go through them whenever we can. It's 8.40, sir. May bounce kay ISM today. I can't tell. Wala pong makakahula ng market. Um, hopefully, it does. Kasi nasa support areas na naman siya. Anytime soon, it should bounce according to technicals. Pero if it if ever hindi, that's okay. Depende. If ever, depende sa ano nyo. Depende sa uh, plan ninyo on ISM. So, ISM. Let's check out ISM. So, yan. So, ISM is around the support area where it's strongly... Uh, this is a strong support area for ISM right there. That area. It's now reaching that level again. Hindi naman red flag with Bollinger Bands uh, yung position ni ISM. So, we're expecting it to bounce around this area, this area already. Um, but, I can't tell if it will bounce today or not. Wala pa mga pagsabi niyan. Um, pag magbabounce yan, then that's good. That's a buy. Uh, but that's a buy area. But if it doesn't bounce and collapses, uh, depende po yan sa inyo. If you're trading ISM, then get out of ISM. Um, if you're an investor in ISM, just I will recommend holding it if you're in it for long term. So far, so good naman. Wala naman tayong bad news nakikita for the third telco. So, I'd still, I say, I'd say this is still good. Still speculative, right? But just speculative pa rin si ISM because we don't really know the, what will happen to ISM uh, oh, to the third telco once it uh, once it starts operation. Baka lugi or anything. But it has a very big reward behind the risk of ISM. That's why I am testing out ISM. But only, please, 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 only risk an amount you are willing to risk. Right? Um, wag po na, ma, uh, ma, hindi na kayo makakain, ma, masisira ang future nyo dahil linagin nyo kay ISM. Only risk an amount you are willing to, uh, you're okay na kumawala man, okay lang. So, wag masyadong aggressive, okay? Rodrigo Carlos, good morning po. CHP uh, from Allen, Charlton, Madlang Bayan, CHP po. I'll write down CHP. Tahanan natin yan. Alright, so it's 8.42. So, we have to start the discussion already. Ayan. So, before we go to the discussion, we want to thank our sponsors, 2Trade Asia. Check them out at 2TradeAsia.com. One of the best uh, uh, brokerages right now, si 2Trade Asia. Mabilis, reliable, and most importantly, merong mobile app para po kahit nasa labas kayo. Kung kailangan nyo mag-cut loss or kailangan nyo bumili, you can always do that outside from your PC, from your office, di ba? So, that's the convenience behind it. Um, also, eToro, if ever po, wala kayong oras to trade, wag nyo pong pipilitin mag-trade. Yan po sinasabi ko lagi. Malulugi lang kayo. And just be an investor. If wala kayong oras to study the market talaga, let other traders do the trade for you. How do you do that? 
check out eToro. This is eToro, right? So, uh, right now we're already gaining thirty-one point dollars on my uh, on my position. Basically, three point eighteen percent on Google, right? So those who copy traded me, nagkakopya sa trade ko, right? You can copy trade here kasi sa eToro. Congratulations! They are already earning three percent. What if? Malaking pera ang linagay nila to copy me. Napakalaki na po ng kita nila. They're already earning 3%, right? So, more than 31% most probably. I only invested $1,000 in Google, but we're already earning. So, Google is still on an uptrend right now. So, um, so far so good. Congratulations sa mga nag-copy trade ko sa akin. Um, for, uh, for those na walang oras to trade, check out eToro. Please use the link that I have under the video description. Nasa video description po dyan link ko. That will help me in return. If you create an account, use that link. Um, you can copy trade po. You can always diversify. Uh, the international market is a very big uh, avenue for money. Napakalaki po ng pera sa uh, sa, they call this sa uh, international no market. So, wag nyo pong sasayangan yung opportunity. Try to take a piece of that money. Sayang naman po, right? Ang laki ng pera sa international market. Pag hindi nyo tinetest, you have to get a piece of that buy. And this is one way to do it. Itoro. Kung wala kayong oras to trade, just copy trade. Just click on here, copy people. Uh, or pwede nyo po ako search El Bazaar or other traders out there. Napakarami po ang traders out there na mga galing. You can check out their statistics para makita po yung performance niya. This has been my performance last 3 months. Uh, last 4 months po tayong green na. So 4 months we have been doing green na. So that's very good for us. I am starting to get more aggressive sa international market. Thank you so much Luger11 for the ano um, sa sa what call this? Super chat. Thanks, Sir Lloyd. Mas madali nga kumita sa eToro. Dito, Lord PSE, mas marami pa ang magugulang Jupiter ka sa investor. Thank you so much. Yeah, totoo yan. That's the reason why I am recommending eToro for you guys also. Try out the international market. Right? So, here, you're already earning. Pwede nyo po ako okay, i-copy or other traders out there. Wala po kayong gagawin. Just put money in them. Uh, in them. For example, this woman right here, Jiang uh, Jiang Cheng Xu. Um, yeah, the <laughs> statistics niya, she's been positive for the past few months, right? So, kung gusto niyo po yung statistics niya, you can always copy her. Just click on copy, put the amount that you want to copy, and then just click on copy. Easy as that, and whatever he earns in percentage in the future, you earn also. So, check out copy trading po. This is for you guys. I am going to spend time in the daily grind and sharing these to you because it's a new opportunity Um Ang goal kasi na Financial Freedom 101 is not just for you to learn how to trade, but for those people na pumasok sa stock market at hindi nila alam pa yung opportunity na ganito. Kasi trade, I tell you guys, trading is not for everyone. Napakalaki pa ng oras na kukunin nito sa oras ninyo. And for example, yung mga kapatid natin mga OFWs, alam ko paguran po yung trabaho ninyo. Tapos pinipilit pa ng iba na mag-trade para kumita. Let other traders do the trade for you. Just do copy trading instead, right? So, mas maganda po yun. Right, so, yun. Um, to go to the topic, ayan, so, PSEI. Kamusta natin si PSEI, ba? Si PSEI yung topic natin yesterday. So, yeah, today. Yesterday, PSEI did a bounce at rear. Ayan. So, medyo negative pa rin yung bounce niya. It did bounce, but the bounce is shaky, right? Um, not really that strong. Um, volume has been shaky lately for PSEI but um, so far I'm still optimistic right I'm still optimistic with PSEI merong mga nagsasabi about the uh, may concern about um, yung sa China na market about the MSCI MSCI mayon, right so ayun, MSCI is a concern um Indices, uh, pinapalaki ni China yung weight niya from just 5% to 20%. Um, so, mabibigitan daw si PSE using that. But right now, with the economy news of PSE, ito yung pangontra ko with that, ano, with that uh, what do you call this, with that uh, uh, point of them. May point naman yung mga nagbablog about that. Right? Um, there's a, there's, that's a valid concern. But right now, I consider PESEI as still very cheap. So, 
I don't think it's gonna affect the market that much, right? Napakamura po po ng market natin. And with the economy news, especially yung inflation natin, napakababa ngayon, less than, uh, more, around 4%. So, that's very good. With the GDP news, that's very good. That's gonna invite investors. So, um, ang problema kasi is, people have been, are pessimistic about that. Right? Sinasabi nila, pinipredict ka agad nila na magbabagsaka ng market. Right? Again, guys, ituturo ko po sa inyo, no one can predict the market. Nobody can predict the market. Right? It's okay to be cautious, but adjust lang kung anong ginagawa ng market. Right now, the volume of the sell-off is not that much, right? We're still at fo net foreign buying pa rin, karamihan ng mga days. So, the market action is not show is, is showing otherwise, di ba? So, hindi naman sinasabi ni market na magkakabagsakan. Actually, ang foreign buying have been positive lately, di ba? Uh, minsan, nagne-negative, but majority of the days, positive naman ang foreign buying. So, Volume otherwise, I mean, the the activity of the market otherwise isn't telling us na babagsak talaga. Pero there's this downtrend which is something you should be concerned about. So this is what I will strongly recommend. This is how I do my investing, guys. Okay? As long as your stock is on an uptrend, right? As long as your stock is on an uptrend, you can always buy more. Keep buying more, right? Just keep buying more. I mean, no, I mean... Wag nyo pong ibebenta as long as it's on an uptrend, right? Uh, for example, si BDO, right? I have been holding BDO from here to here. Now, when BDO broke the support, I usually sell half of my position that time. I am I am in BDO for investing. So, ang ginagawa ko po, tuwing natatapos yung uptrend niya, binebenta ko po ang kalahati dyan. Right? And then, I wait for it to stabilize again. Maybe at this bottom again. It, maybe it will go to the bottom. So, what I do is, I will buy more again at that bottom. That way, I'm still earning overall. Right? So, na maganda pa rin naman yung position ko. Pero ito po yung gagawin. Ah, sorry. Yung screen ko. Right? So, here, um, market, ah, uh, this is BDO. Excuse me muna. Napakaingay ng mga aso ko. And so here, BDO. No nag uptrend siya, I hold my stock. And then whenever it breaks my MA20 or my uptrend line, I sell half here. I always sell half here. This is a much more uh, efficient way of investing. Hindi lang na hold lang kayo, tas bili ng bili. Yung cost averaging, mabagal po ang pera dyan kasi. But it's still good. But this is a much more efficient way of investing. Whenever your long term stock is on an uptrend, you buy more. And then. You pag na I mean no not buy more I mean hold. Then if ever makat ma, ma stop niya yung uptrend niya, look to try to sell half right. Uh, I usually sell half here, sell half and then you hold ko lang yung pera. Wait for my stock to stabilize again and then I'm just gonna buy more at the bottom. Most probably the bottom is right here. Pero somehow 125 is a good price for BDO. Maybe it is gonna stabilize anytime soon. Who knows? But if it will. I'm just gonna buy more BDO. Ganon ang ginagawa ko. Hindi ko po pababayaan ang stock ko na sayang naman yung uptrend na gains ko tapos hindi ko naman ibibenta ang kalahat eh. Diba? So, I usually sell half pag natatapos yung uptrend niya. So, yun po ang gawin ninyo sa blue chips ninyo for, with the concern of PSEI. Right? So, PSEI did show us a good bounce but not a very healthy bounce. Hindi pa na yan nag-engulfing. So, I can't really say na bounce na talaga ni PSEI to. Baka patuloy pa yung downtrend niya. This is the downtrend line right here. So, baka magtuloy-tuloy pa yung downtrend line niya. So, on your blue chips, guys. If ever tapos na yung uptrend niya, sell half of it. Huwag niyo pong sasayangin yung gains, okay? That's my recommendation for PSEI. You don't have to be pessimistic. Remember, noon, nung napakababa ng market, people were... Uh, the prof yung mga mga guru sinasabi na pupunta pa sa 6,200 si PSEI I told you it has already been stabilizing at this area it showed us a divergence right here so I did tell you na hindi na po siya bababa below that and look at that nag recover naman after that so you don't have to be pessimistic do uh, just look at the charts and it will tell you where it is going so, you don't have to guess kung babagsak siya kasi pang problema, 
pag naniniwala naman kayo nababagsak siya to what level abangan niyo yun sa baba pag hindi naman na meet hindi kayo makakasakay kung saan just always let the press action do the talking right so right now press action I think bababa pa siya so baka bumagsak pa so on your blue chips again sell half if ever na break na yung uptrend line niya so that's my two cents sa PSE let me check if you have any comments about that um Just follow the trend. Tama yan, Isabel. Is ISM, MBT, Nickel Pusser. Sir, the trend is our friend. Downtrend pa si PSI. No reversal na sign sa RSI. Yes, to, tama yan. I think bababa pa si PSEI. So, well, hopefully soon. Um, aangat na siya. But so far, wala pa naman. So, you don't have to be aggressive. Sir, pacheck and tell. Tell is in my recommendations for today. X Pusser. Sir, good morning. Magandang buhay po. Pasilip naman yung X. ISM, MBT, and Nickel. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pa-hold pa ba si PHA? Salamat. Uh, PHA is doing well. Nga nga, eh, sayang walang shorting. That's the, that's my problem lang, ano, Isabel. Walang shorting sa PSE. Uh, uh, sa PSE. That's why I am starting to um uh, starting to diversify to the international market with eToro. Kasi mas marami po opportunity doon. Ang opportunity kasi sa international market, hindi lang sa uptrend, right? If ever bumagsak po si market nila, you can always short, short sell the stocks. So, kikita pa rin kayo kahit downturn na isang stock. So, yan, pwede naman. Right, so, let's go to the, ano, um, to the request of the people sa mga charting. Eh, uh, una pala is my recommendations for today. Here are my recommendations for today. Right, number one, si Tel, right? Uh, linagay ko po sa chat room yun po yung mga um, uh, yun po yung nirecommend ko so tell right now nag uh, nag ano na nag nag slow down na yung downtrend niya right Bum, um, bumagal na yung downtrend ni tell 1000 na lang amazing grabe from 3000 pesos down to 1000 so one third na na cut niya na so but basically tell is still very a very good company um i am recommending it now why Um, because I tell you price action, right? It's starting to to do a curve, meaning nagsa slow down na yung pagbagsak niya. Number two, here's a lower price, and then RSI is already starting to go up. That's a divergence right there. We have a green, we have a massive volume on this red right here, meaning starting to accumulate already. Volume is starting to pick up, so meaning nag-accumulate na yung mga tao on this drop, right? So somehow. It's forming a support. If you want to be aggressive, I think this is a good bottom for tell. I am, I will want to trade this, right? Gusto ko i-trade ito. Good company, napakamura ng presyo. Um, technical analysis is already showing us a buy. I will test buy tell already today. I strongly recommend tell right now. Okay, so nire-recommend ko po si Tel for trading po ito ha. Hindi po ito for long term ang sinasabi ko. For trading, somehow Tel has showed us a good bottom already so tell po pwede nyo po i-testing yan today hopefully tama tayo just in case mali tayo always just just cut your losses si heaven naman MA20 bounce there it is we were waiting for that bounce so pwede nyo pong pasukin si heaven on that bounce so win naman isa sa mga recommendations ko rin today yan so win just bounce sa um, support nya this is a good confirmation right there so win is good maliit pa rin ang risk kay win Right. Next is Bell. Maganda po ang news kay Bell. I think Bell is gonna be doing well the next coming days. Ba and we have an uptrend line for Bell. Right. So we can test this out. Yun nga lang. There's something. There's a point of concern kay Bell because of this somehow triangle right here. So if this breaks out, that's a good entry. But somehow I think it's gonna break out with the uh, with the news of Bell yesterday. Um, ang ganda ng news ni Bell yesterday. Eh. Um, if I can open Edge. Right, Edge. Uh, just check out. Uh, do your own due diligence na lang. Check out Bell's, uh, Bell, Bell Corporation na um, news yesterday. Tingnan natin kung meron dito. Ito. Bell Corp post record revenues, recurring gains. Right, so recurring gains. Ito yun sa mga rentals nila pag mga recurring gains. Right, so this is very good for Bell. Right, napakaganda ng... Um, ng revenue ni Bell, just read it out if you uh, read it out whenever you have time, right? So yeah, I'm recommending Bell for today because of that news, right? So Bell Corp, I'm recommending that today. Next is P Gold, Pure Gold, P Gold, right? So P Gold, um, somehow we have a support for P Gold, right here. It's been hit. 
Sorry, hindi yan dapat. Ito, horizontal line. So, it's been hit twice already. One, two. And Bollinger Band is telling us na magsa sideways ito. That's a confirmation of the support. So, that's a good support to get into. Right? Um, overall, napakamura pa rin ni Pure Gold. So, this is a good avenue to enter Pure Gold. Pwede nyo po i-testing yan. Um, next is Ore. Sa mga recommendations ko, si Ore, uh, similar situation right there. We have a support. Very good support. May bounce tayo dyan. So, Ore is good to enter. Right? Next is, sino ba sunod? AB, Atok Big Wedge. Alright, so AB, uh, pwede nyo po itesting ito si AB. Right, we have a divergence at around this area right here. Ang magaganda ng divergence niya. Um, we have RSI going up. There. So, yeah. Um, AB, pwede nyo po itest yan. This is a very volatile stock. Pwede nyo pong paglaruan ito. Overall, that's a very good support area for AB. Pwede nyo po paglaruan yan for trading. I won't recommend po becoming an investor here so make sure if ever mag fail man yan just cut your losses right so yun um yun so I'll go now to your picks um let's see if wala bang right so again Luger thank you so much for the super chat um for the donation yeah, guys if you want if you like my content and you want to support the channel yan po um like Luger pwede nyo pong Pwede po kayo mag-super chat. The dollar button dyan sa chat room natin. Uh, pwede nyo po niya pindutin sa mga kumikita sa itoro natin. <laughs> pwede kayo mag-donate if you want to. If you want to support the channel. That will greatly help the channel in return. So now, I'm gonna go to the uh, requests of the people. Mga charting requests ninyo. MBT. Uh, ang nga pala, uh, before I go to the charting requests, I wanna shout out. May seminar po tayo online seminar this weekend Friday and Saturday right Friday and Saturday 8 in the evening 8 p.m. Uh, that's two hour each day send me a message if you wanna join that that will greatly help your trading in return sobrang dami na po students natin and everyone has been uh, very positive with the seminar and ang dami na po natin students na, na greatly improve ang trading nila you can check out the uh, what they call this. You can check out the testimonials of the students doon po sa page ko. Right? You just go to the, my page right here and then go to the uh, recommendations and uh, ratings here. Makikita nyo po yan. Dyan. Napakaganda po ng mga except this guy. This guy has been <laughs> nag, nag, nag ano lang yan eh. Nag spam lang tuloy. tuloy. But yeah, these are the recommendations and um what they call this, uh, mga sinasabi ng mga students, check it out, it will greatly, yan, huwag nyo po sasayangin, ang stock market, learnings, uh, stock market, ang oras, just uh, invest first, in learning yourself, right, and the seminar is one, one of the best avenue, one, one of the best seminars right now, in the Philippines, sobrang dami po ng students na natin, so, if you wanna join that, send me a message, Friday and Saturday po, 8 in the evening, right, so, Joseph K, late na. Oh, it's 9.01. Alright, so, eto po ang mga request kanina, si MBT. MBT. Alright, so MBT, may bounce siya. Um, somehow, very significant bounce. It can, we can consider this as an engulfing pattern, but uh, I don't really like these kinds of positions. Malit pang volume. I think the stock is gonna go on a downtrend for the meantime. So, you don't no need to go aggressive on this stock right here. So, MBT, uh, let's wait for it to stabilize first before we wanna try to enter it again. Right? Very, very, uh, what they call this, very, uh, very unstable pa right now. Very volatile. Baka bumagsak pa si MBT. ISM. Right, so ISM. Um, oh, okay. Akala ko, ayan, go boss Lloyd and Sir really Kyle Fordeza. Yung mga fees po sa eToro. Yung sa fees sa eToro, basically kung stocks ang tinitrade ninyo, um, it's very cheap. Right, uh, you can for those who are asking sa fees ng eToro, you can go to this part right here. Right, uh, dito kayo sa um, help. Right, click on help. Ito nasa left side, and then go to market hours and fees. Ito market hours and fees. Ito, and then you'll see the fees there. Right, um, commodities may fees jan. 
uh, currencies, ETFs, indices, for example, stocks, punta tayo sa stocks, makikita nyo po dito market hours, um, spread per size is 0.09% lang, right? Very cheap. So, balikan, mas mahal pa si PSE actually, right? Mas mahal pa si PSE, um, 0.09 on selling, I mean on buying, and then 0.09 again on on buying, right? So, all in all, 0.18% po ang magagastos nyo for the charges, right? No manages, uh, no management fees, no ticket fees, no rollover fees. Best bali, if you trade using eToro, using uh, on stocks on eToro, mas mura pa po ang fees kaysa sa PSE, right? Ang alam ko sa PSE, 0.22%. I'm not really sure. I have to calculate it again. But basically, mas malaki po ang... Nakit, napapansin nyo yan, pag bumili kayo sa isang stock, ang laki, ang laki ka agad ng negative ninyo. That's because of the fees. Right? So here, 0.09 lang po ang difference sa buying and uh, sa fees. So mas mura po ang fees ni Itoro if you trade stocks. Right? So, yung conversion po ng peso sa Itoro or pips, tama po ba yun? Ang uh, yung conversion ng peso sa eToro or pips tama ba yon? I'm not really sure uh, Elaine. Um, conversion ng peso it depends on the international na price. So they have very low conversion naman. I mean, what do you call this? Mura ang ah, uh, they're very fair conversion, right? Ang conversion na problema talaga dito is with your bank. If ever your bank is quite expensive, so yon. Um, sir, okay po ba pumosisyon na kay CLI as early as now for dividend play soon? Yes, it's a good company. Yung conversion ng peso. Thanks, Erdogan. Laging ganyan. May reko para sa trading. And so, um, next is ISM. So, speaking of ISM, we talked about ISM kanina. Right, so, ISM is here. Uh, right now, no need to be aggressive in ISM. Let's wait for it to stabilize. Maybe it's gonna go... Uh, it's gonna reach this level again and let's see if it bounces. If it bounces, saka naman tayo pumapasok. May tanong kanina, bakit babagal gumalaw si ISM? Lahat naman yata ngayon ng stocks mabagal gumalaw. PSEI didn't really have that much of a volume. So, yun. Uh, and the market is on a pullback. So, somehow affected naman karamihan ng mga stocks. Yun lang problema ko PSEI. Napakanipis po ng volume ni PSEI. Um, somehow we're earning, pero kind of slow, but still okay. At least, gumikita pa rin tayo. Uh, nickel, um, we're seeing a lower high kay nickel. So, konting ingat po dito kay nickel, right? And plus, this one right here. This is something you need to be concerned about. We have lowering RSI. So, resistance ng RSI, meaning most probably tapos na itong uptrend ni nickel. But I could be wrong. The best confirmation here kay nickel... Right, so confirmation natin kay Nickel if it does a breakout from this, sorry, from this triangle. Right, so if it breaks out, then that means the price action is telling us na aakit pa siya. So I'd strongly recommend wait for the breakout na lang kay Nickel kasi we have a bearish, uh, we have a bearish signal for RSI and this is a resistance that is going down. So konti ingat kay Nickel, no need to be aggressive on that, nasa taas po yan. Dapat dun sa baba natin pinapasok, yan si Nickel. Right, so... Um, that's for nickel. Next po sa mga requests is uh, MPI. MPI. Bakit nauna si nickel? Right, wala mo naman palang nickel dito sa picks. Anyways. <laughs> right, so MPI. Um, reaching support again. Right, um, I want to see more data from MPI somehow. Um, wala eh. Nahirapan si MPI with all the blue chips. So... But overall, for long term, napakapaganda po ng position na ito. These are the bodega times of MPI. And then, iwanan nyo po, if ever per, for, um, you're into MPI for long term, um, I need more data, data kasi if ever we wanna trade MPI. So, so far, wala pang data si MPI to say that it's gonna be good doing an uptrend or reversal. So, wala pa. PLC naman, um, I think PLC has reached its top uh, right now. Um, medyo nahihirapan siya eh. Right, nagbe-break na siya, na siya sa MA20. Um, could be wrong. I think this is gonna do, go sideways right now. So, really hard to tell, right? But we have good higher low right here. So, um, somehow the stock is on an uptrend. 
pwede nyo pong pasukin ito if ever. Um, maybe this is a good support. Uh, I don't wanna recommend is this right now kasi medyo mataas na. But again, the trend is your friend. If you wanna test out the uptrend of, ano, of PHI, wala naman signals na, wala naman symbols na tapos na yung uptrend niya except this, um, except this lower high. So, meron tayong medyo lower high dyan. That should be something we need to be concerned about. So, I don't like to try to ride this uptrend anymore. I don't wanna recommend PLC. But if you wanna get in PLC, you can use the MA20 or this support area right there. But I don't recommend it. Right, so PLC BDO, and si BDO, medyo mababa pa, pababa pa. So no need to be aggressive on BDO. Maya na yan si BDO. BPI also, somehow, somehow, is this, this is a good signal for BPI. Right, we have an engulfing pattern right here. So let's wait for it to stabilize. I think it's going to stabilize right there. If it stabilizes, that's when we enter BPI. So for now, no need to enter, B, uh, no need to be very, very aggressive with BPI. Hintayin natin mag-stabilize or make a higher low. LTG. Ayan, yeah, it's LTG naman. Somehow, the support is holding. Ayan. So holding naman si LTG. Right? So we recommended LTG yesterday because of this support bounce. That's okay. And LTG right now, um, I think with the, yeah, medyo mataas na yung risk, right? Try to bargain at uh, ito yung sinabi ko sa inyo kahapon, I mean, sa recommendation ko. LTG, so try to bargain. Try to bargain at around this level, right? This is a good support for LTG. Bumagsak siya at that level yesterday before umakyat. So hopefully, babagsak na naman before umakyat. Try to lower your risk as much as possible. Baratin niyo po yan. Huwag niyo po habulin sa taas. ZHI, we talked about ZHI. Antayin niyo lang, um, antayin niyo lang yung pullback. You can go do a breakout strategy. Uh, medyo aggressive that yan for me. No, I don't want to recommend that. So ZHI, dito po natin ni-recommend. So dito, ngayon, Wag muna, right? So, my recommendation is wag muna. But you can be aggressive and use a breakout strategy, which I don't recommend. B core. And si B core, um, yan, si B core, nagsusupport na pala si B core. Right? So, this is good for B core. Somehow nga lang, uh, this is something you need to be concerned about. This is a descending triangle. This is a bearish pattern. Right? So, that's something you uh, usually, right, most of the time, nagbe-break yung support na yan at bumabagsak because of this right here. But, a confirmation of the support will be a breakout from that level. So, pag nag-breakout ito sa B-Core, sa downtrend line na yan, that will be a good entry point for B-Core. That's a confirmation na hindi nag-sustain yung bearish, uh, bearish pattern niya. So, wait for it to do a breakout before you wanna get in B-Core. ISM, we talked about that already. Nickel also. Meg, right? Si Meg. Right? So, Meg is forming a bear, bear trap right now, right? Uh, no, it's a bull trap. It's showing us a bull, bullish signal. Pero the risk to reward ratio is not that um, it's not that convincing for me. So, konting ingat. The best strategy here is a breakout. That will be confirming a more bullish move. Kaso nga lang, nagtitrigger siya sa lower Bollinger Band. So, baka bumagsak yan talaga si Meg. Alam nyo na po yan pag nagtitrigger sa lower na Bollinger Band. So, so, I don't wanna recommend Meg. A breakout will be good for Meg para ma-confirm naman na uptrend pa siya. So, ATN, we are doing a pullback for ATN. That's okay. Right? Antayin natin yung bounce niya. MA20 most probably. So, inaabangan ko yan sa ATN for a buy more area. So, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay ATN noon. We did recommend that at the support. Uh, yan. Yun yung sinasabi ko kay ATN. Just keep buying at the supports. Right? So, VLL naman. So, we're waiting on for VLL. Let's see what will be the action when it meets the MA20. Pag nag-confirmation at the MA20, pwede, nito pas pwede natin pasukin yan. VLL right now, I don't want to recommend it yet. Atayin pa natin, mag-consolidate sa MA20. So, congrats sa VLL. Um, we're just waiting for another buy area. Si Bloom naman, somehow price action is looking well. Don't wanna recommend it yet. Let's see. Let's see further down the road kung mag-solidify yung support niya. But right now, wag muna. Just set it out. Yan, so, Bloom, MBT, BPI. We, did, uh, we went through that already. MRC. Yan, si MRC. Kamasay natin si MRC. Ito. So, again, Bollinger Band lesson natin. If it touches the lower Bollinger Band, most probably alam nyo na saan pupunta yan. And there it is. Bumagsak na. And big, big volume that drops. So, I think MRC is gonna drop even more. So, iwas muna kay MRC. 
Um, next scammer si BDO, Ali. Alright, si Ali naman. Um, Bollinger Bands has been triggered. So, I think babagsak pa si Ali. So, stay away from it. For now, CHP. May request about CHP. Alright, so CHP. So far, so good. It's making a higher low. Kaso nga lang, ito eh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lower high then at the same time. Eh. So, we don't really know for sure where this is going. So, let's wait for it to do a breakout from that downtrend. Make sure na tuloy na umakit si CHP. If not, wag nyo pumasukin. But I don't wanna recommend playing with CHP. So far, pangit pa rin ang, ano, um, ang... Uh, ang stock. Right? So, si DNL, one of my favorite stocks, may lumabas down na um, na news today. Alright. An hour ago, kamusta natin yung earnings ni DNL? Alright. So, hindi nila nilagay dito. No disclosure. Marsh uh, name. Uh, ano to? Right, best mid cap annual pool. Yeah, one of the best companies out there. This is good for DNL, right? Um, I think baka baka gumalaw si DNL because of that. That usually invites uh what they call this. Uh, that usually invites um investors. Yeah, I think DNL. Let's check out DNL's earnings. Uh, audited financial reports. Right, so open. Let's see. Compare annual by ito. Or for uh ter ni, dapat annual na annual na ito eh. Uh audited financial ending December, yeah, annual. Kaso nga lang sa natin hanapin, wala, hindi ko nakikita eh. Uh, um what do you call this? Uh tignan ko ito. Or titingnan ko ito today. But TNL this might make DNL move today. So panoorin niyo po si DNL. Um uh, this area, right? This you can use this as your support. Overall, malit pa naman ang risk ni DNL. If ever you use this as support, pag gumalaw si DNL, pwede niyo po pasukin yan. I think maganda naman. Alright, so I'm gonna go to your uh, comments. Tingnan ko po yung mga hindi ko po nakita kasi we still have time. Alright, uh, hello Sir Lloyd. Morning, Popey and Abba po. Ayun, si Popey is still on an uptrend. Am I right? Yan, so Popey. Still on an uptrend si Popey. So, yeah, this was the bounce yesterday. Ang ganda ng bounce niya. Kaso nga lang, medyo high risk na siya ngayon kung hindi nyo nahuli yan yesterday. Medyo mataas niya po yung risk niyo. Try to bargain at around 2.90 for Popey. Definitely. Ayan, sinasabi ko po sa inyo, this is a good company to invest in. Right, noon pa. Right, noon pa. Doon ko pa sinasabi long term ako for Popey. So, just kept buying more. If bumili kayo dito sa baba with this divergence right here, napakaganda po ng posisyon na yun. Right, so, congratulations sa mga hawak ng Popey. It's still on an uptrend. Just keep buying on the dips. Popey is for long term for me. Right, so, Oscar, Sir Vando, um, Sir Lloyd, ano po nangyari kay Tel? Paano, po, paano na po PSE? We talked about that. PX po, sir. Mamotsay natin sa PX. This is from uh, Al Adrian Obed. PX. Alright, guys. Again, if you wanna support the channel, if you like my content, and gusto nyo po matulungan ang channel, you can always go to... Um, the super chat. May super chat button po dyan. Right? So, pwede, pwede po kayo mag-support, mag-donate uh, mag sa channel. Si Jose, may nag-post nag siya ng link. I don't think, um, uh, tinatanggal kasi na YouTube ang mga links na post nyo eh. So, um, I'll check it out later. Right? Um, may question dito sa from Health Gainer. Okay pa ba mag-hold kay PHA? Actually, nag-hold ako kay PHA. I hold, I held on to the remainder. So far, so good. Malayo-layo pa rin ang projection natin kay PHA. So, this is still a good avenue to hold on to. Kaso nga lang, again, there's this pattern again. Something that you need to be concerned of. So, hopefully, soon, mag-okay siya. Ang hirap kasi pag dito na sa taas natin hinahabol. Eh. So far, the support is holding. So, I'd say it's okay to hold still. Hindi pa naman siya nabibreak yung support niya. Mm, ano po masasabi ko kay Aba? Right, Aba. Para sa akin napaka mahal na ni Abe. Right, uh, after the dividends, I have uh, lumabas na ako kay Aba actually. But I could be wrong. Pwede pa umakyat si Aba, but somehow it's showing a resistance right here. 
I want to see in the future after this volatile move right here. Napaka volatile kasi ng mga move na ito eh. So I want to see a stabilization for ABBA first before I want to get in. I don't want to be aggressive in ABBA because napaka taas niya na po. Wala pong forever na uptrend. Okay, remember that. So, so far, I don't like the movement of ABBA anymore. Especially this of this divergence right here. Pababa yung RSI niya. So, konti ingat kay ABBA. Huwag niyo na po hahabulin yan. All right, so Globe today, good day from Hong Kong from Sarah. All right, so Globe, share ko lang po regarding Feb inflation. Oi, may lumabas na na Feb inflation. All right, very good. Um, inflation cools further in February returns to Banco Central's target. All right, four point four percent. Thank you so much for the link. Four point four percent. That's very good for our company. So um, yon um, Didi from Greece um. Si Didi, um, somehow, nag-Bollinger Band trigger sa baba. So, this is a bad sign. Let's see what happens. If it meets the support, pag nag-bounce, that could be a good entry. We can test that out. But overall, Double Dragon still cheap. Alright, maganda naman yung movement ni Double Dragon. Let's see. The, uh, antay natin yung annual earnings ni Double Dragon. Ito na ang gusto ko. I think I will wait. We will be waiting for the annual earnings ng mga companies before we can go aggressive. Right? So, wag po kayong maging aggressive right now with PSEI. Yung mare po. Yung mare naman, somehow looking good naman si mare. Um, looking good naman si mare. Um, after hitting this resistance, nag-pull back. And right now, it's actually bouncing at MA20. So, this could be a good entry point for Mare. Alright? I I was contemplating on Mare right now. But overall, kasi si Mare na medyo mahal na siya sa akin eh. Um, but, you can still test that out. If you wanna, mag, wanna if you wanna go aggressive, right? So, if you wanna go aggressive kay Mare, yeah, you can use the MA20 as your support. Teka lang ha. Ayaw mawala ng sulat. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. You can go for MA20 as your support kay Mare. Pwede nyo po testingin yan. GFC, um, si Fen, may harang. Si Fen naman, recommend natin yesterday and it already went up. Um, actually, yeah, may, may secondary harang siya dito. We already have, we already did a breakout there. So, hopefully, with the volume, ang ganda kasi ng volume eh. So, this is what I'm talking about. Right, so may volume tayo on that breakout. So, hopefully, magtuloy-tuloy. If not, just cut your losses. Pwede naman si Fen kahapon yung best entry point niya kasi nasa support yan kaya ni-recommend ko si PHEN kahapon right there um mer IMI IMI right so last 5 lang guys ha kasi uh, medyo masakit nila lamunan ko IMI nagpo-pull back pa so no need to be aggressive on IMI uh what about the MSCI news? Any effect on PSEI? Hang ilito. Very good concern. Yun yung pinag-usapan natin kanina. Um, it might have an effect. We don't really know as of the moment. Uh, so, you don't have to be aggressive in PSEI since downturn pa naman si PSEI. Yun po. Um, don't be aggressive in your investments. If ever na-break na yung resistance, I mean, yung uptrend niya, just sell half of your investments. Okay? Kasi PSEI right now, shaky. Wala pa rin volume sa... Uh, wala pa rin volume. So, it might have an effect. But I don't think it's gonna have that much of an effect because overall, napakamura na ng mga stocks natin. Right? So, yun. Just a little review yun. Angelito. Right? Reynaldo X naman. Yan. Si X. Move on at kay X. Right? So, X. Uh, antay natin yung bounce kay X. If it bounces, then we can test this support out. Baka gumala na naman si X at magpapansin. Right? So, let's wait for the bounce first. Fgen. Fgen nag all time. I mean, nag 52 week high na naman si Fgen. Right, so you can use a breakout strategy KFGen if you want to, right? Uh, I don't want to recommend that anymore. Masyad, masyadong mataas na po yan. Um, but, yeah, still on an uptrend. I strongly recommend wait for a pullback and an entry point on a bounce before you get in. I don't really like breakouts that much, especially napaka nipis ng volume ng market. Right, so Reynaldo, we already checked out X. Good, uh, good morning, Sir Lloyd from Ariel Clemente. Ask ko lang po if okay na mag-apply sa Tutor Asia yung dating students mo. 5K opening. Yes, yes, yes. Um, definitely, uh, send a message to Tutor Asia and you can also send Apple a message para ma-double check niya po yung list na nas para nasa list kayo. Just tell Tutor Asia na student niyo po, ako, I mean, student po kayo 
Eh, nahihirapan ako. You're my student. Ganun na lang. Ang bilis mag-Tagalog, mag-English. <laughs> You're my student. And then, 2, 3 days, I will check the list and you should be eligible for the 5K. Yan po ang advantage ng magiging students ko. If you enroll on the seminars, you can avail of 2, 3 days promo of 5K opening para matest nyo po siya. Right? So, again, I have a seminar this weekend, Friday and Saturday, 8pm. Send me a message if you wanna join that so I can send you the details. Right? So, last two. Lloyd Pasilip ng MBIRC with check out IRC kote ingat mo na kay IRC Emmanuel uh, Ruben Ocampo Sir Lloyd Pasilit na MB si MB naman wait MA20 na pala si MB so maybe this is gonna move if you wanna test this out pwede nyo pong paglaruin ito si MB baka gumalaw right so if ever it uh, mali naman just cut your losses but overall this is a good move for MB di ba so maybe it might move today uh, yun nga lang si MB kasi wala sa ano kayo wala sa what you call this, yung watch list ko, kaya hindi ko napapansin si MB. Right, and then last one lang, good morning Kaloy, may bounce kahapon si GT Cap. Yan. Last lang to si GT Cap, guys. Kanos aka mo anhig Dabao, Donde Ebrado, yun nga eh, pinaplanuhan ko yung Dabao eh. Pero nga lang, wala akong katulong sa pag-organize dyan. So, hopefully, I'll, I'll plan out, most probably, um, by summer, punta tayo ng Davao. Punta ako ng, um, Punta ko ng Osamis this March 20. Eh. So, maybe we can, I can organize one. So, pero kaso nga lang, wala akong, wala akong kakilala sa Davao. <laughs> so, nahihirapan ako. GT Cup, may bounce yesterday, but overall, it's still on a downtrend. Konti ingat kay GT Cup. Downtrend pa siya. We don't have a valid support to check out. Maybe dito, most probably dito. But, downtrend pa si GT Cup. So, I want it to stabilize first before we want to get in. Right? So, Yan, that's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. Again, PSEI, don't be too aggressive, especially sa blue chips, baka maapektahan tayo. But, if we see a support and solid bounce, then you can test it out, right? Huwag po masyadong maghabol ng mga bottoms, especially sa mga downtrends pa, okay? Um, on your gains, if ever na-break na po yung uptrend, you can sell half, especially on your investing stocks and blue chips. Okay? And, yon Again, seminar this Friday, Saturday, 8 p.m. Send me a message if you, so you can join that. Huwag niyo po kalimutan si eToro. Create an eToro. Sayang po ang eToro. Right? Um, kumikita po tayo sa eToro. Ang ganda na international market. Uh, here it is. So, create an eToro account using my link. Libre, libre lang po mag-create ng account. At least po, pwede kayo mag-virtual trade muna para matest out ninyo yung, uh, yung um, platform. Right? This is my virtual portfolio right here right just click here and virtual and then papunta kayo sa virtual portfolio nyo P pwede po kayong may 100,000 po kayong pwede matesting right pwede nyo pong gawin yan okay so that's it for today I'll see you again tomorrow same time as always let's get rich together have a great day bye bye oh.